What's going on everyone? Metalblade427 here, and I welcome you back to another episode of Final Fantasy Fridays. Um, for this week's episode, I am actually flying solo. My buddy, just plain Paul, has unfortunately come down with uh, something. You know, tis the season for illnesses and all that other fun stuff. Though I do believe he did have a minor heart attack based off of a recent Twitter conversation that I had and shown him. I don't know! I have no idea what's going on between that. I am just the moderator between the two. I think it's all rather funny, actually. Seriously, though, Paul will be uh, better next week, and we'll be able to move on from there. But for now, I am going to be the one running through this one section of uh, the game. And it's a pretty important one, because we actually move on to our next major city. In the last episode, we did... Whoops, I, get, I haven't held the controller this whole time. I gotta remember what button does what. There we go. Okay, that's what I wanted to do. Um, in the last episode, we made our way through the mines and we got ourselves, not an item, button, button, who got the poor button, uh, we got ourselves a new party member. That would be Yuffie, the mysterious ninja, or the mystery ninja. I think it kept saying mysterious and it's mystery ninja. I don't know, whatever. But she has joined our party and we are very happy to have her with us. Uh, she comes equipped... I don't know if we actually showed her limit break. I'm pretty sure we didn't show her limit break last time or talked about her or anything like that. But, uh, Grease Lightning, it's basically a two-hit attack that only does one hit. It should do two hits based off of the animation, but, hey, what can you do? Otherwise, that, we still have normal for Cloud, and... Oh, that's right! We did work on Eris in order to get her her next level... Stop it! It's already set that way. We don't need to set it. Uh, her second level, level two, um, Limit Break, Fury Brand. Quite possibly the best limit break in the game because as soon as her limit break or her limit gauge is maxed out she sacrifices it in order to give both of their members their limit break ability so helpful so awesome not a he as good as healing win because it doesn't heal or anything but you know what having the limits immediately available to both of the other party members win win major win right there so there you go fun times had by all and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, yeah, we also managed to get the boomerang for Yuffie, which was, you could steal that from those formulas, the, the, the big bird guys that are flying around, you could steal that from them. So we managed to get Yuffie a new weapon already, so we're already upgrading and having so much fun. So where are we going? We are heading to the city of Junin, and that, I believe, is over this way. Uh, best way to get there is to follow the coast up and around. There are still a few new enemies that we haven't run into, so I'm kind of curious if I'm going to actually do that. But if I don't, no worries. If I do, Ragnarok and all that in between. Oh, and actually, we do run into the one. Turn around quickly. There we go. Okay. Uh, better get my guys ready here. I'm used to having Paul at the control here, so. All right, so these guys... Hell, do you say that? Neurosurferoth, that sounds menacing, are level 16 enemies, 150 HP, 120 MP, give you 53 experience, 146 skill, and 5 AP. Uh, they'll drop high potions, but you can't steal anything, and once you get morph, you won't be able to morph them into anything. They're pretty basic guys, so why don't we, instead of having Yuffie kill them, let's jump over to Eris, because I need her to start killing more guys, and we will matra their butts off. And fires and misses! Where does she keep them all? I don't know if I really want to know that answer. Done. Yay, new enemy beaten. Hooray, there's still one, is one more enemy here that I would like to run into, because he's a pretty cool guy, but maybe we'll see him, maybe we won't. I'm not really that sure, but hey, whatever. Run! Run, Cloud, run! I can see it from here. I can see it past that little uh, flat top mountain in the distance. I don't mind random battles, never do, but for right now, I'd rather just try and make it to the city as fast as possible. Okay, so here we are. This is the city of Junin. Very, very cool looking place right here. Look at that giant cannon, that's huge! And that's gonna come into play very, well, not soon per se, I wanna say sometime during this two, maybe? Man, I wish I had Paul here for this stuff, but uh, it, it has a really cool cutscene associated with that cannon, so. Just keep it in mind as uh, we go through this. You'll actually get a few more shots of it as we go through it once we make it up from this area that we first start in, which is kind of a slummy area. What happened to this town? It's so run down. Yep, I'll be taking the voices over. Great. 
Uh, all right, so yes, here we are in uh, under Junan. Junan? Junan. That should be how it's pronounced, right? Yeah, Junan. So let's run around. We can talk to some people here. Uh, rare. We almost never see anyone other than Shinra people visiting this town. Visit this town. Yeah, so Shinra have pretty much taken over this town uh, in all the wrong ways, per se. I think this guy tells us some more? That's a great catch you got there, man. Looks like whatever you caught ate it before you managed to pull it in. But hey, a trophy's a trophy, right? Ever since Shinra built that city up above during the war, ugh, ugh. Yeah, see, so now there's a city above this as well. Shinra has a very interesting habit of building cities on top of cities. I mean, that's pretty much what Midgar is. The entire thing. Uh, who are you? Uh, what kind of place is this? Who are you people? Where did you come from? Um, out. Did you see a man with a black cape? Though it's not really a cape, I I'd say it's more of a trench coat-ish type deal, or a cloak, something. Does he have a cape? No, he doesn't have a cape. No capes. Hmm, never seen that feller before. Alright, well, you are you. Oh, wow! Oh, okay, that was scary. Man, I, I don't want that to ever happen again. <laughs> Actually, it did, but I'll go over that a little later. Uh, Shinra's soldier here pretty much says that there's an elevator up to the top, and we can't use it. And I think that's really it. Like, you can explore around a few other buildings. Um, if I go into here, we can look around, but there's really not much going on. It's like, this is a home for a little girl, maybe? Looks like this is her room. Can we take stuff? Anything here? No? No? Oh, okay, fine. Just kind of hoping that maybe we'd be able to take some items and whatnot. It's an RPG! You can go into the places and steal stuff. I'm sorry, acquire stuff. It's not stealing. It's not stealing if it's out in the open for me to take. Um, and then there's that place right here, which I think this is the weapon shop. And it's a pretty sad weapon shop. Ooh, wrong place. Come on. Oh, come on, Cloud. There we go. Okay. Fire weapon you want. And what have you got? Uh, crap. And then items. Just standard items. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. This is mostly Paul's running around, so I don't know exactly what it is he would want to buy. So I'm not going to buy anything. He'd probably want to buy tents. But I'm actually going to save the gill for right now, because once we uh, pass the events of this episode and make our way to the top, there's a lot of good stores, like, up top in Junin, in Junin that sell a lot of good items. So we're going to want to grab those. Can I actually check this thing? No? No? Ah, whatever. All right, before we head down to the bottom, what I want to do actually is I want to switch around some... No, circle is not yes. X is yes. I want to switch around some materia. Um, let me see. So we have all lightning here, all ice. Hang on a second. Um, uh, uh, no, no. Okay, let's put that, put that, put that, and put that. So what I want to do do actually is I want to exchange I want to take from Yuffie the Chocomod summon and I want to give it to Cloud and not only do I want to give it to Cloud but I also want to give him uh, do I give her anything else? Let's give her do you need anything else? Um no, no, whatever. Okay so he has the Chocomod summon here uh, in his weapon slot and now I'm actually going to equip the elemental thing to this. We're going to be fighting something that is weak to wind, and because Chocomog is our only wind attribute, I have now made the hard edge a wind-style uh, weapon. So now we should be doing a lot more damage with it uh, this way. I don't need the Choco Lore, that's crap, but we are going to give Cloud long range. It's going to be needed for this area. And then, of course, just because we're going to try to stick with the originals, all ice, or not ice, all lightning, and, uh... Yeah, yeah, we'll keep that, and we'll give you ice, because now you have fire, all fire, a heal, ice, steel, scent, throw, and you have everything else you need to have as well. Okay, I like it. This is, this is a good setup. I'm, I'm, why do you have cover? I think, oh, that's right, well, you have cover because we were using that in order to build up your limit break. Um, yeah, you can keep cover. I don't really care. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. So there you go. Everybody has what they need. We are pretty set. Yuffie actually has a limit break. I'm excited for it. Let's go down to the beach. Which is where you need to go in order to progress the story in this particular area. Hey, Mr. Dolphin! Mr. Dolphin? Hey, look at that, there he is! Woo! Look at him jump! I've never seen a dolphin jump like that before. Like, completely out of the water in, like, a vertical mode. My name is... 
Priscilla. Now you say it, because dolphins talk. Well, they did on The Simpsons, so, you know, there's that. Who are you guys? Are you members of the Shinra Inc? No, you're wrong. We have nothing to do with the Shinra. Yeah, all the girl voices will probably sound the same because we don't have Paul to uh, change it up a little bit. That's how it is. I don't believe you. Get out of here. Uh, okay. Great. Uh-oh. Music change. Move. Things are moving. And Yuffie goes, whoa, God. <laughs> that's how that's pronounced. Holy crud. What the heck is that thing? Where did that come from? Be careful, Miss Dolphin! Yeah, because it's definitely going to be more than a match for that flying dragon thing. Hey, hold on! We're coming! Charge into battle like the awesome heroes we are! Going up against a boss that happened to rise from the ocean area. Wonderful. So, this guy here, let me do this so this way you can only get off like one attack and be alright, is... Bottoms Well, a level 23 boss, 2,500 HP, 100 MP, give you 550 experience and 1,000 gil and 52 AP at the end of the battle. Uh, he will drop the Power Wrist, which is an accessory that increases strength. So any of your physical attackers, that is the main way that you want to, uh, that is the one you want to put that on. Uh, you can't steal anything from him, and other than being immune to Earth because he's flying, he is weak to wind as I said before. But there's another thing that you could do to him. Use your new um, poison magic. Well, it's not really new. We had it a while ago. We got it back when we were mid-year, but I don't think we ever bioed anything. So there we go. He should now be poisoned. Hey, is he? Yeah, uh, maybe. I don't know. Um, why don't we just summon the Choco Mod just to uh, still do death blows? Kind of hoping for something else. We'll do the limit for the brief lightning as soon as I get the ability to. Smack! How much damage does that do, I'm wondering? And, oh, not bad! 306, very cool, alright. Grease Lightning him! I'm gonna take this away, just so we can get a better look at it. Yeah! And jump back! See, so it was almost like a double hit that it should be, because she smacks and then she, like, almost kicks off the guy. Or at least that's the way it's supposed to be. Um... I think I'm just gonna be flamethrowering this guy. Oh, maybe he wasn't poisoned that turn. Maybe I'll try bioing him again next turn. Standard attack. Um... Standard attack. Maybe I should also heal, too. Oh, boy. So, yeah, so he's a pretty easy-going boss, you know, just choosing, you know, your best attacks in order to take him down. He doesn't have too, too much health, but he does have a few moves that are really annoying. Ah, oh, that was really cool. I like that move that uh, Cloud did in order to do uh, the long range. Um, uh, yeah, let's buy him. I really want to, uh... Ah, oh, here we go. Okay, so this is one of the moves that he does. And it's basically a water ball, and it's kind of a reverse regen, because as you can see, uh, Yuffie's health was going down, or is going down. And the only way that you can crack it is by shooting a, a magic attack at it. You have to target the ball itself. You cannot target um, the, the character inside the ball, or else you'll hurt them. And any old magic attack will be more than enough to pop it. I don't know how much HP it has. Probably has like 40 or something like that. Maybe you got have curiosity. Well, I some and attack. So, that's really his main thing that he has to worry about. Um, oh, yeah, let me actually cure everybody before- Oh, no! I think I just beat him without curing Ares. Did she die? No, she didn't die. Oh, man, okay, good. He has that uh, attack as well, which is uh, an all-hitting, very powerful attack. And when he is about to die, that is kind of his final goodbye. He'll just do a big wave out of nowhere, and then he'll, you know, go away. You see, is this it? There we go! Everyone gets their limit break, of course, at the end, but that's alright. And we win! Woo! Excellent! Uh, 550, 52 AP, alright, good. Take, 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 take. Oh, man, Ares and Yuffie so close. And we get our power wrist and a lot of gilly. This is bad. You don't think she's dead, do you? I'm not 100% sure who said that. They're not really telling me. Uh, maybe it's Cloud? I don't know. Unknown person talking. Priscilla! Oh, it's the old man. Nope. She's not breathing. 
that, that's good, Doctor. So, so now what? Hey, that's it! Young man, CPR, now! Don't tell me what to do. Mouth to mouth? Cloud, hurry! But she's just a girl! Cloud, this, this isn't anything other than trying to save a young girl's life. Like, come on. Do it, Cloud! What, you don't know how? Come over here, I'll show you! I guess I gotta do it. Just take a deep breath, hold it in, then breathe into her. Hurry up and do it! Uh, CPR doesn't actually work like that, but for this situation, we'll pretend. Uh, you're gonna hit square, and then the gauge is going to raise up a certain amount of numbers. And then once you hit square, depending on how many numbers it goes up, Cloud will breathe that much air points into her. Uh, she needs about 41, I want to say, air points, and I'm air quoting those words very heavily, uh, in order to revive her. So, breathing cloud. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, breathe. Now, if you wait too long, then cloud will actually lose all the breath that he is sucked in. So you kind of want to keep track of it all as you go through. So it's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three. I don't think there's a way for you to lose this mini game at all. You just got to keep breathing into her until she uh, comes back to life. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three. God, your lungs look really weird, by the way. Is that what those supposed to represent? They kind of look like multicolored lungs. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three. And one more should do it. it should be more than enough to uh, resuscitate her. You don't get anything for this other than the fact that you saved a little girl's life. So congratulations. Pat yourself on the back that way. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, there she is. Ugh, ugh. Hey, hey, Priscilla, are you alright? Oh wow, look at him lift her like that. You're a strong old man. You just like levitated her off the ground. That was awesome. Alright, well that was fun being able to save a little girl's life and all that good stuff. Um, let's see, he took her up over here, and this is him standing here. Is she alright, dude? Still needs to rest for a while. I wanna go and see her! Oh. But, now that we did that, I think the old woman that was walking around, yep, she stopped walking around, and we can go to her house. Hey, come in for a while. Okay, we never say no to free room and board. I heard what happened. You've done so much for her, Sarah. You all must be tired. If you want to get some rest, stay here. I conveniently have three beds just for you guys in my little studio apartment of a house, cottage thing. Well, again, can't say no to convenience. Make yourselves at home. Can do, Grandma. Can do. Want to rest? And I mean, you could say no if you want to in order to run around a little bit, but yeah, we're, we're gonna rest right now. Move things along per se. Weird stuff happens in the middle of the night. Cloud can't just have a normal night's sleep, oh no. That reminds me. You again. Cloud is talking to himself. Sort of. Who are you? You'll find out soon. But more importantly, five years ago. Five years ago. Nibelheim. Nibelheim? Nibel Nibelheim? Nibel Nib How do you pronounce it? I don't know, whatever. When you went to Mount Nibble then, Tifa was your guide, right? Yeah, I was surprised. But where was Tifa other than that? I don't know. It was a great chance for you two to see each other again. You're right. Why couldn't you see each other alone? I don't know. I can't remember clearly. Why don't you try asking Tiffa? 
Yeah. And get up. Well, that was a weird conversation right there. Hey, wake up. Wake up, Cloud. Oh, Tifa. Uh, what, what brings you in here? I was just thinking about you. Actually, when Sephiroth and I went to Nibelheim, where were you? We saw each other, right? The other time. Hmm, no. It, it was five years ago. I don't remember. But that doesn't matter. Something seems strange outside. Cloud, come quick! Okay, no problem. We can do that. When Tifa says come quick, we run fast. When she says jump, we say you first. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, get out of my way, old lady. Hey, everyone standing over here. What do we got? Anything? No? No target cutscene right here? Why don't you talk to everybody? What do you gotta say for yourself to fight? Uh, does it seem a little strange, everything getting so noisy all of a sudden? Yeah, because we have, like, now in the background, like, a parade-style music being played. Hear it? Okay, we'll hear more and more as we go along, so no worries about that. Uh, I heard that girl regain consciousness. Oh, that's good. She's alive. Awesome. Seems like something's going on up there. Yeah, and that's gonna be our chance to go and find out what. Does this have something to do with the Shinra? Probably, because they're the one up there. And Yuffie, what do you bring to the table? What's this loud music? It's giving me a headache. Yeah, that's our Yuffie. I love Yuffie just interacting with everybody because, again, she's optional. This is the earliest you could possibly have her in your party, and you can find out what it is that she has to say and what she thinks about certain things that are happening. So it's just another way to play the game. Like, if you try to go through it again, you don't have to get Yuffie here, and it'll just be these four. So, I don't know, just little details like that about this game that make it really cool, at least in my opinion. Hey, it's Priscilla. She's up and moving. Good for you. Are you all right now? Um, thanks for helping. I'm time. You know us. Fighting monsters, winning the day, collecting stuff. Thumbs up. I'm sorry. I mistook you for one of those Shinra Inc. That's all right. I'll give you something special. Really? Like what exactly? It's an amulet. Take good care of it, okay? And she gives us... Our second summon materia, Shiva, the ice bean, ice goddess, ice awesomeness, all that good stuff. What's that music? It sure sounds lively. I heard they're rehearsing the reception for the new Shinra president. Rufus, I gotta pay my respects. Grandpa and Grandma told me this beach was beautiful when they were small, but after Shinra built the city above, the sun stopped shining here, and the water got polluted. I was raised on that story, and hate Shinra so much I could die. Do you think Rufus is thinking about crossing the ocean from here too? What, does that mean Sephiroth already crossed the ocean? Cloud, didn't you finish your Rufus off? No, he kinda got away. We gotta get to the town up there. Maybe we could climb the tower. Maybe? Maybe. Maybe. No, no. There's a high voltage current running underneath the tower. Don't wander near it. It's dangerous. But you might be able to if Mr. Dolphin helps you. Follow me. Okay. I'm going to point this out really quickly right here. When I played this on my own and did my practice running through it, um, you may notice the old woman is walking back and forth underneath the house. As soon as you hit the X button, Priscilla's going to run towards the beach. At the moment when I hit this button, the old woman was down, and here she comes, so I gotta be careful, down by that old man there, and Priscilla got stuck to the point where she couldn't move, the old lady couldn't move, and because it was still technically a quote-unquote cutscene, I couldn't move. So I had literally locked myself into a, uh, a position in the game where I couldn't do anything. You probably just saw that on the screen right now, because it is on my phone, and I'm going to try to get it in order to put it into this episode, because it's one of those video or it didn't happen type situations, and it was it was insane. High Voltage Tower. I guess this means Cloud will be alright. How does that mean Cloud will be alright? Yeah, better leave it to Cloud. We're counting on you, Cloud. I guess because he already has spiky hair, if he gets electrocuted, no one will notice? I don't know. And they all pretty much scatter with Cloud being the one that they choose to go up there. What are you two talking about? Ain't this probably not. Oh yeah, they're just now they're just doing girl talk. You two are like the ultimate frenemies, I swear. 
What do we got over here? You have red, ginger soldier. Well, yeah, it is. You can't tell by the uniform. Jeez. Aren't you going to follow her? Yeah, I'm going to follow her momentarily. And Barrett. Yeah, I'd like to take a good look at me. Yeah, okay, wouldn't we all? Uh, before I do that, notice one. Cloud is the only one in the party right now. We do not have anybody else. And we can go here. And instead of Chocomog, we now have Shiva. Again, Shiva is an ice elemental. Um, you probably know Shiva from all the other Final Fantasies because she has been in every, almost every Final Fantasy, I think, if not all of them. I'm actually going to put her right over here on long range because I don't need long range anymore. Um, very powerful, very strong ice elemental uh, attack. Whenever you summon Shiva, she hits all enemies on the field and costs uh, at 32 MP a cast. She doesn't have a second attack like the Chocomog, but because of that, what we're going to do is we're going to throw that on Cloud, we're going to leave Junin really quickly, and we're going to get into a little fight. Only because I don't know the next time we're going to be getting into any type of good random encounters, and I do want to show off Shiva right now because, oh god, she's beautiful. She is absolutely, positively just beautiful. Wonderful, wonderful summons. My favorite Shiva summons to this day still is the one from Final Fantasy because when she does her diamond dust technique and puts all the ice out, she snaps her fingers and everything goes explode and it's awesome. Oop, turn around. And it's easily my favorite summons out of, out of all of Final Fantasy X and my favorite Shiva summons. So let's go ahead and cast her. I'll take away this bottom thing here so you can get a better look at it. So her signature move, Diamond Dust. Even for graphics like this, she's a very pretty summon. It's like, yeah, you gotta keep in mind, you know, take it for a grain of salt when I say pretty, you know what I mean? But that is powerful. That is a strong, strong summons. Love it. Very good. Good job, Cloud. You did it. Alright, grab our stuff. Grab our high potion, which is good. And some more gill. And we are now going to head back into Junin and to where Priscilla is, because she knows the way to get to the top of uh, Junin. Let's head down this way, back to the beach. And I think she's just going to be standing there. Just standing right on the, uh, the beach. Ah, there she is. Let's go. Alright, girl. How do we do this now? Wait a second. Did you get a whistle? Why don't you get a whistle? Turn it off and allow. Okay, there he is. Woo! Wow, look at the ups on that guy! Man! Now ain't that some? I ain't never seen no dolphin jump like that! You mean no, Barrett. Pretty cool, huh? When I blow this whistle, Mr. Dolphin jumps for me! Here, this is for you, Cloud. Um... A gift? What am I supposed to do with it? Just go into the water, blow this whistle, and Mr. Dolphin will jump you to the top of the pole! You need to take that extremely literal. Very, very literal. And I'll explain why as soon as I continue through this. Jump to the top of the pole. See that rod sticking out at the top? If you jump just right, you can climb to the top of the tower. Good luck, Cloud. If you make it, we'll follow you. Whoa, I'll hold the PHS for you. It'll break if it gets wet. So, we know what to do. We need to go into the water it's square. And again, that is all you need to do. When I first played this, I remember swimming around like crazy, trying to find the perfect spot in order to call Mr. Dolphin in order to jump me up there. Don't move. Do not move. Hit square once. Woo! And then hit square again. And we did it! Hooray! Good job, Mr. Dolphin! Way to have the major ups in pushing a grown man up that high. And we avoid all electricity, and we can make ourselves up to, uh, like, a landing spot. Oh my god, the CGI cutscene's so wonderful. You don't exactly see his, uh, mouthless face of sorts, or noseless face. Actually, he doesn't really have many facial features at all, it's just the eyes. It's a cool ship. I want a ship like that. I don't mind having a ship in this game already, that would make it so much easier getting around. But, uh, we're here in... what is this? A hangar of sorts? Airport. Airport. Hangars are inside. Airports are outside. Uh, we need to run over here, and we need to go this way. We gotta make our way towards the sound of, uh, the fanfare. 
Yeah, I thought that that was a chest the first time I came through here, but it's really just a button to raise and lower this little elevator thing. And I think we should be hearing it again soon. Yeah, we can kind of hear it, but once we go in, we'll be able to hear the marching sound a lot better. Oh, here we go. Oh my god, look at all the Shinra guys. They're running right past us like crazy. Hey, wh whoa. Hey, you still dress like that? Come here. Oh, okay. Sure. Uh, sir? Here, get in the room. Uh, okay, okay. Sir, yes, sir. As long as he's not trying to arrest us. Why not? Today's the big day. We welcome President Rufus. Hurry up and change. Um, change? It's the Shinra uniform. I, I mean, you kind of have to do this anyway because it's all part of moving forward, so... Let's put on uh, our Shinra uniform. Brings back memories. Quit yapping, hurry up! So now, this guy is watching Cloud change? Like, right in front of him and everything? That, that's kind of creepy. I'm so proud when I, put, when I first put it on. Yeah, see, he's out here and he's definitely struggling with, like, pants or something. I wonder what it was. I couldn't stand wearing this thing anymore. Wow, you look good in it. You remember the greeting procedure, right? I uh, is kind of. That look on your face says you forgot. Alright, I'll show you again. Just do like we do. Oh, good thing we have people here in order to explain it to us. And this is how they do it. And they'll sing too. Alright, show them. Now, march. This is the welcoming march. Then, I'll sing along with you. So basically, they're going to tell us how to march and how to, like, kind of do the next little mini game that's coming up, which I will not be doing, by the way, because I royally suck at it. There is a save point coming up that I will be using, and <laughs> we'll worry about this next time. So the whole point is to pretty much keep in tone with the guy next to you and march accordingly. The better you do, the better the items you get, and of course, you're going to want to try to get the best item you can. I am good. I am all clear. I don't need it anymore. So uh, make sure you do all well in the real parade. Yep. Uh-oh. Rufus has arrived. Preparations completed. Oh boy, we're late. All right, showtime. Don't disgrace yourself. No problem. Whatever you say, Chief. But as everybody runs out to the side, I'm going to be making a slight detour in order to save. Am I doing that now? Or am I doing that next? Oh boy, look at all the stuff here. All the fancy gun techniques and everything. Begin the welcome parade. Oh, all right, there it is. Yeah, see, they're, they're doing the Shinra Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade right here. So there's President Rufus taking the lead car, waving to his fellow Shinraians. Shin Shinraians? Shinrins, I guess? I don't know, whatever. But they make the cut that way. I cut this way to the save point. So that is pretty much where I am going to end it off. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to rate and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you can get equipped with me, Metal Blade 427 in next week's episode, Paul will be rejoining me just as we go ahead and start the celebration of Rufus becoming the new Shinra president. There's a lot of little mini games that we need to do in order to get like some pretty good items. And then after that, we have to jump on a boat in order to continue searching for several. And actually, the boat scene is really cool, so you guys will enjoy that. And with that, I'll catch you guys later. Party of One Victory Fanfare! Woo!